Have you ever wondered how prevalent ADHD is among children today, and what kind of impact it can have on their lives? Well, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD as it's commonly known, is not a new phenomenon, yet it's being diagnosed more frequently in recent years. This condition, which affects a child's ability to focus and control impulses, is now recognized as one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorders of childhood. But why this sudden surge? We're not entirely sure. Some attribute it to better diagnostic procedures, while others suggest it may be due to environmental factors or changes in our lifestyle. The implications of ADHD extend far beyond the classroom. It's not just about unfinished homework or daydreaming during class. ADHD can affect every aspect of a child's life. It can lead to lower self-esteem, strained relationships with peers, and a higher risk of injury. Children with ADHD often struggle with organizing tasks or activities, and this can lead to underperformance in school, causing them to fall behind their classmates. They might be labeled as troublemakers or lazy, but the reality is, they're dealing with a condition that makes ordinary tasks extraordinarily challenging. Moreover, the effects of ADHD can linger into adulthood, if not addressed appropriately. Adults with untreated ADHD may face difficulties in their professional lives and personal relationships. They may struggle with time management, organizational skills, and maintaining focus on tasks, hampering their overall quality of life. That's why it's crucial to not only recognize ADHD, but also seek appropriate treatment. It's about helping these children reach their full potential, academically and socially. It's about equipping them with tools to navigate the world successfully, despite the hurdles ADHD might place in their path. So, are we helpless in the face of this growing concern? Absolutely not. There are many ways to manage ADHD, and they range from conventional medicine to alternative treatments like herbal remedies. Now that we understand the gravity of ADHD in children, it's time to delve into the treatment options available. When we talk about treating ADHD, one of the first things that might come to mind is traditional medicine, and rightly so. Traditional medicine has been the common approach to managing ADHD symptoms in children for decades. Traditional medicine encompasses a range of prescription medications, designed specifically to help manage the symptoms of ADHD. You've likely heard of some of these, like Ritalin, Adderall or Concerta. These medications are classified as stimulants, which might seem counterintuitive at first. Stimulants for a hyperactive disorder? But here's the thing, these stimulants actually have a calming effect on children with ADHD helping them focus their thoughts and control their behavior. In terms of benefits, traditional medications can be highly effective. They can bring about a significant reduction in ADHD symptoms, helping children concentrate better, be less impulsive, and get along better with others. This can lead to improved performance in school, better relationships with family and peers, and an overall increase in self-esteem. However, as with any medication, these traditional treatments are not without their potential side effects. Some children might experience decreased appetite, sleep problems, or even mood swings. There's also the potential for misuse or addiction, particularly with long-term use. That's why it's absolutely crucial for these medications to be used under the careful supervision of a healthcare provider. Regular checkups are a must to monitor the child's response to the medication adjust dosages as needed, and keep an eye out for any potential side effects. Despite the benefits, some parents are wary of the potential side effects of traditional medicines, leading them to explore alternative treatments. But before we delve into that, it's important to remember that every child is unique, and what works best will vary from child to child. Always consult with a healthcare provider to find the best treatment approach for your child's unique needs. With parents increasingly looking for alternatives, herbal medicine has gained popularity as a potential treatment for ADHD. Let's delve into the world of green and leafy solutions, exploring the various herbs that have been touted for their potential in treating ADHD. First on our list is Ginkgo biloba, a plant whose extracts have been used for centuries in traditional medicine. 
Some studies suggest that ginkgo biloba may improve brain function and reduce ADHD symptoms by increasing blood flow to the brain. However, it's worth noting that these studies have mixed results, and more research is needed to confirm these potential benefits. Next up is ginseng, a root that's been used in Asian medicine for thousands of years. Ginseng is believed to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which could potentially help manage ADHD symptoms. Some research even suggests that ginseng may improve cognitive function and behavior in children with ADHD. As promising as this sounds, it's essential to remember that these studies are preliminary and that ginseng can interact with certain medications leading to potential side effects. And then we have passion flower, a calming herb that's often used to treat anxiety and insomnia. Some believe that passion flower's soothing properties may help children with ADHD by reducing restlessness and improving sleep. Yet, just like with our previous herbs, the research on passion flower and ADHD is still in its early stages, and more studies are needed to establish its effectiveness. As we explore these herbal alternatives, it's crucial to underline the importance of consulting a healthcare provider before starting any herbal treatment. Each child is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. Even natural treatments can have side effects and interact with other medications. Herbal medicine can be an appealing alternative, but it's crucial to remember that it doesn't replace the need for professional medical advice. It's always best to discuss any treatment options with a healthcare provider who understands your child's individual needs and circumstances. Now that we've looked at both traditional and herbal medicine treatments for ADHD, how do they stack up against each other? Traditional medicine has been the go-to treatment for ADHD for many years. Its effectiveness is well documented, with many children experiencing a significant reduction in symptoms. Medications like Ritalin and Adderall have been proven to improve focus and reduce impulsivity. However, these medications can have side effects, such as loss of appetite, sleep problems, and mood swings. They can also be costly, and not all families have easy access to them. On the flip side, herbal medicine offers a natural alternative. Herbal treatments like ginkgo biloba and ginseng are believed to improve brain function and reduce symptoms of ADHD. They are generally considered safe, with fewer side effects than traditional medications. However, the effectiveness of these treatments is less well documented, and more research is needed to fully understand their impact. Herbal remedies can also vary in cost and availability, depending on where you live. But here's the key point. There isn't a one-size-fits-all treatment for ADHD. Every child is unique with their own set of symptoms and responses to treatment. For some, traditional medicine may be the best route. For others, herbal remedies might be more effective. And for many, a combination of both could be the answer. The most important thing is to find a treatment plan that works best for your child. This might involve some trial and error, and it's important to monitor your child's progress and adjust the treatment plan as necessary. It's also crucial to involve your child's doctor in this process to ensure the safety and effectiveness of any treatment. In conclusion, both traditional and herbal medicine have their pros and cons when it comes to treating ADHD. The choice between them should be guided by a careful consideration of each child's individual needs and a close collaboration with healthcare professionals. There's no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to treating ADHD. What works best will depend on the individual child and their specific needs. Before we end, let's summarize the key points we've covered in this video. We began by addressing the growing concern of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, in children. This condition, characterized by difficulty paying attention, impulsivity, and hyperactivity, affects a significant number of children worldwide. Its impact extends beyond the individual, affecting families, schools, and communities. We then explored the common approach to treating ADHD, which typically involves traditional medicine. Traditional treatments, such as stimulant and non-stimulant medications, have been shown to be effective in managing the symptoms of ADHD. However, they're not without their drawbacks. Side effects can include loss of appetite, sleep problems, and mood swings. 
Furthermore, these medications don't cure ADHD, they only manage the symptoms. Next, we discussed an alternative option, herbal medicine. Herbal treatments, such as ginkgo biloba, ginseng, and bacopa, have been used for centuries in various cultures to treat a range of ailments, including ADHD. The benefits of herbal treatments include fewer side effects and the potential for long-term management of symptoms. However, the scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness of herbal treatments for ADHD is less robust than that for traditional treatments. This led us to a comparison of traditional and herbal medicine. While traditional medicine is often the first line of treatment, herbal medicine can provide a complementary approach. The choice between these two should be based on a thorough understanding of their benefits and drawbacks. Most importantly, we underscored the importance of personalized treatment plans. Every child with ADHD is unique, with different symptoms, responses to treatment, and personal circumstances. Therefore, an effective treatment plan should be tailored to the child's unique needs, incorporating a combination of medication, therapy, lifestyle changes, and possibly herbal supplements. Remember, when it comes to treating ADHD, the best approach is always one that is tailored to your child's unique needs and circumstances.